Now, where shall I start? Uh, the beginning's a good start, is that right? It said, yeah. the same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat. Mm -hmm. And the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he had sown, some seed fell by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell by stony places where they had uh -huh, not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up because they had because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground mm -hmm. and brought forth fruit, some an hundred, some sixtyfold, or sorry, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some or some thirtyfold. Mm -hmm. Who hath ears to hear, let them hear. Praise God. Amen. If I could use for a thought this morning is <laughs> how deep is your love mm -hmm. praise God how deep is your love I don't know if you remember but there's a song that was made some years ago and it was saying uh, uh, I forgot how it would go but it's saying how deep is your love and I forgot who made it but it's how deep is your love how, how deep does your love flow now in this we see that Jesus began to speak to the multitude and how many of you know that, that there's a whole lot of folk will come around when you first get something started, but after a while they tend to uh, go about their merry way. And this was the key case in Jesus' time that multitudes would follow him uh -huh, because of all that he had to offer, whether uh, uh, it was the five loaves uh -huh, and the two fishes that they would follow him just to eat and just uh -huh, that he may comfort them and provide. Some folk only come to the church because they're looking for handouts. All right. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many people that would uh, come by and how many people who would call and say that I need your help. Yeah. It's strange how individuals want help but they don't want to put in. All right. You know how it go. We have friends and we have co-workers. We have family members who, who always want to receive but never want to give in. So here Jesus begins to speak this parable uh -huh, that the people would understand that see that they understood about farming. They understood about agriculture and what it takes to grow things. Uh -huh, yeah, what, what it takes to keep your fro together. Ooh, that was good. What, what it takes to keep, keep groomed and keep well uh, uh, presented. But here he says that even as it was sown, some fell in strange and undeveloped places. Hmm. But then he says, uh huh, he who has ears, let him hear. It's funny how the gospel is good news and it, it goes out to the world, but not everybody want to hear it. You know how it is, folk will tell you, don't, don't, don't you know, I, I don't force, and they try to throw off on you, and they say, well, I, I don't force my religion on nobody. Well, this is good news, and, and I'm out to tell you that it's just like uh, uh, in some of the, uh, the the movies that we see, I'm going to use Batman, for instance, that there was a boy, the boy on the corner, amen, crying out with the paper, and so we do the same thing. Good news, good news. Here's the daily review, good news. It's good news that Jesus has risen from the dead and that we don't have to, amen, go about, amen, in our sins as we used to. It's good news. Hmm. Yeah, Jesus wants to loose us and it's, it's good news. 
But some folks want to stay bound in their sins and they really don't want to be loose and they, they don't want to be free. All right. I remember, and I think I did it last Sunday, is that the song that uh, we sing sometimes, it says, and the burdens uh, of my heart, they, they rolled away. It was, it was there by faith. I received my sight and, and now I'm happy all the day. And so uh, Jesus has a way of taking away the burden of sin out of our lives. But we must understand the gospel and we must not just uh, 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 just read it for face value, but we, we must say, God, what do you mean? What, what are you talking about? Because some folk leave church and they bank their whole life on a 30-minute message that the pastor or whoever is bringing the message and all of a sudden they didn't read the back story. They didn't read the back the, the backdrop of the gospel. Uh, they didn't read the backdrop of the Bible. And so uh, they leave out, and 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 pastor said, "You're gonna get your blessing." And and, and see, everybody's not in the same predicament. Everybody's not in the same statute. And so uh, uh, individuals who mean as a rattlesnake will go to work and tell folks, well, my pastor said we're going to re receive our blessing. And you mean and you're angry and you you, you got problems and you got situations and, and you ain't going to receive it like that. Jesus comes back and says, he who has ears, let him hear. We base our whole, we have 66 books that we have to go through and see what, what God is saying to the world. And all of a sudden, you hear a 30-minute message and your life is set straight. Hmm. Here, and the, the, the disciples come back in the 10th verse and he says, And the disciples came and said unto him, uh, Why speakest thou mm -hmm, unto them in parables? They were inquisitive. See, that's why Sunday school is so important. That's why YPWW is so important. That's why Bible band is so important because we have a lot to consume in our lives and we can't just get it hidden and missing. That's right. That's right. Amen. Because somebody say something and you look at them like they're strange, but 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 there there's been a lesson taught on love and there's been a lesson taught on husbands and wives. There's been a lesson taught on how to treat your children and all of a sudden you didn't get the, the, the memo or the message. Why? Because you were missing in action. Amen. But we have to be inquisitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have to be. That's why the Bible says that the older men should teach the younger and the, the aged women should teach the young women. God has a process in this thing, and if, and if we allow ourselves, uh, 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 if we give over to the process, we'll learn along the way. Hmm. Then he says in the 11th verse, it says, And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know, let me read it again, because I might not read it, because it is given unto you to know the mystery. Come on, somebody says it's given to me. It's given to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's given to me to know the, the, the mysteries of God. That's why when we speak to folk that, that are outside the church realm, they scratch their head and wonder, is, is that in the Bible? Mm -hmm. See, when we come here and we get equipped and we, when we come here and we seek God and, and, and God starts using us and He starts dropping golden nuggets in us and giving us the understanding in the Word. When we go out there, it's a mystery. You say, but surely everybody has seen the Bible. Surely everybody has heard the Word. But, 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 but when you look at the Scripture, it says some, what, 100, right. some 60, and some 30. Now look at your neighbor and say, everybody really wasn't listening. Everybody really, they, they, they came to church just to see what the first lady was going to wear today. Uh, somebody came to church to, to, to see what the deacon board was going to look like today. Somebody came today uh -huh, just because they can say, I, I, I occupied my time on today. 
But, but, but you got to look deeper than, than, than just the superficial things of, of the word of God. Because it, it says, uh, because it is given unto you Amen. Mm -hmm. to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Wow, it, it's, a, it's a mystery. And remember, the, the gospel is foolishness. Yeah. Why would a woman that makes $1,000 a night, I've said this before, leave a John that's paying her rent for a man she ain't never seen? My God. It, it, it's a mystery how God can come into our lives and, and how the kingdom of God rises up in us and it's like, you know, I, I feel new every day. I, I feel a change every day. Uh -huh. I, I've given up street walking and, and I, uh, I almost went a little bit too far. And, 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 and I've given up mm, being mounted on and, and all of a sudden my, my life is different. My life has changed. Mm -hmm. The mysteries of the kingdom of God, the kingdom, kingdom of heaven. Uh huh. But to you, mm -hmm. but to them, it's not given. Look here. We have to stop being so frustrated and and, and be so uh, 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 in a in a tailspin that when we go outside these four walls and we're 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 teaching someone about the word of God and we're letting them know that there can be a change in your life and they don't understand. What we try to do is we try to do like Jesus said that you can't put new wine into old wine skin. People that are not ready to receive the word of God, it's, it's a mystery and it's strange and it's, it's old fogey and it's, it's you've lost your mind. Right. Faith in God, faith in a man you have not seen. But, but I'm trying to tell you that, that, that Jesus is real and he's touched my life and he, he's changed my mind and, and I don't walk the same no more. I see the world through rose-colored glasses now and they won't get it. Because it's not given to them. The Bible says, He that hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. We have to hunger and thirst after God. We have to seek God out. Yeah. I got Sister Jones on seeking. Yeah. Uh huh. She looked pretty. I think I want to meet her. And it wasn't just one time. What you doing? Hey, hey. And they kept on going. And we built a relationship. He that hunger and thirst after righteousness, the word of God, it says he shall be filled. But it's not given to the world. That's why uh, the, the Bible says that the word without the spirit killeth. What do you mean, Brother Jones? What, what I mean is that you got folk that go to seminary, you got folk that, that just picks up the word of God, and they say, you, you know, this show looked good. And uh, what's that movie we seen? Uh, 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 Denzel Washington, he was blind. Well, what was that movie? Uh, what was that movie? The Book of Eli. The Book of Eli. And, and so, what, what happened to the individual that, that wanted the book so bad? He, he says, I want that book. Why? Because it seems to uh, be controlling over people. He didn't want it for the love that God had to present. He just wanted it for his own dastardly duty because he wanted control over the people. The same thing we have today, and we have individuals, praise the name of God, who don't want nothing about God. Matter of fact, some has been, uh, this is probably a different word, has been allocated to come just to call hell in the church. <sighs> Thank you. So he, he that hunger and thirst at the righteous shall be filled. He says, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he has. Let me say it like this. Why should God waste his time on folk that just come to church? They sure can sing good, but that's all they're doing. 
They teach Sunday school real, but that's all they do. Why should God waste his spirit, his, his gifts upon you, and you don't do nothing with it? Let me, let, let me be more basic. You never call nobody. Somebody had a song, uh, 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 Jill Scott, she says, you just crossed my mind. Does anybody ever cross your mind? Do, do, do you ever feel the need to just call somebody up and say, you know, I, I was just thinking about you. you. God allowed you to cross my mind. Because he says he's going to take away that that we have. What we have is worth something. It's worth spreading out to the world that, that they might have life and that they might have the life that we have. Amen. Come on, everybody say amen. amen. Because really, if you look at it, we live a good life. How many ate yesterday? Mm -hmm. Went to the movies. Drove around in cars. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we are a blessed people, and so what we do is we, we judge ourselves according to what we have, but if we just stand back and say, man, I'm blessed. Woo! Glory to God. It should get you excited because I'm not where I was yesterday, and I'm not where I was 10 years ago, and I'm not where I was 30 years ago. I've advanced in the kingdom of God, and God has done great things in my life and so that makes me happy but why should God invest in you when you won't do nothing with what he's given you that brings to mind of Jesus when he talks about the talents is that right but I won't go into that mm -hmm. therefore speak I to them in parable because they see they see not mm -hmm. and hearing they hear not neither do they understand yeah neither do they understand how do you tell when somebody says they understand but they don't you know what drives me crazy it, drive, it, it, it drives me up the wall that that when people say, oh yeah, I know the Bible, but you're still mean. You're still deceitful. You still cuss like a sailor. You're still doing crooked and underhanded things, but 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 you know the Bible and you you know God and, and all of a sudden you haven't changed your wicked ways. But I declare that 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 Huh. God is so loving and, and he loves us so much amen, that he didn't just stop with the gospel. He, he talked about the acts that, the acts of, of, of God's love and the acts of his spirit and then the, book, the, the letter, the epistles come to help train us on how this walk is walked. And then we have the revelation that it's all said and done. Hmm. But how is it that we know they don't understand. You can tell folk over and over again and, 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 and they'll tell you that they know it, but they really don't. They don't understand. Remember, it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. But, Brother Pastor, I, I thought the Bible said that God has no respect of, per of persons. You didn't hear the scripture that I read in the beginning. It said that there was a sword. He went out to... A lot of times that when we think about, uh, 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 yeah, I'm gonna close. We, we think about uh, those that that uh, 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 a lot of the Mexicans they do pinatas during celebration time, right? And so when they do the pinata and the pian pinata breaks open, what happens? Think about it for a minute. The most quickest and the most fastest individual will walk away with the most candy. How about us? When, when God gives us something and God gives us the word and gives us the understanding, amen, let's not be slow. Mm. 
14 says, And in them is full of prophecies of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see. Uh, ye shall, ye shall, no, 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 no. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not proceed. We could train over and over again. But until the world actually is ready to receive Christ, they won't understand Christ. They won't understand why we get up on Sunday mornings and we come down here and we come to hear the word. Why? Because uh, we understand that later on today or later on next week and uh, tomorrow, we, well, we're going to need to take some of this word and we're going to need to apply it in our life. Why? Because Jesus has come and given us the ministry of reconciliation. Our job is to reconcile the earth, humankind, back to God. So he didn't just give us this mystery just so we can say, I got it, I got it. He gave it to us for a reason. Jesus says, I must work the work of him who has sent me while this day. For when night cometh, no man can work. So when it's over, it's over. Mm. When we're laying on our sick beds and it's, it's time to leave this place, we can, it's unfair for us to say, God, give, give me some more time because I want to work now. The Bible says he called the young because they're strong. Mm -hmm. Y'all can run rings around me. Huh. Charles was up at 1. Huh. 10 o'clock, I'll be like this. Okay, time for bed. But I, I'm trying to study. Time for bed. Oh, no, I can't handle it. Them days is gone for me. So it says they shall see and they shall hear, but they won't be able to perceive the word of God. That's why individuals come and they try to disdain the word of God. That's why it says that we have wicked men who have crept in unawares. Yeah. Well, we have folk just come in just to want to see well, what's going on. Well, I'm going to tell you what's going on. Jesus has risen, rose from the dead, come that we might understand the word of God. How deep is your love? I'm going to stop. I'm not finished, but I'm going to stop. Well, I got some scriptures I wanted to read, but I'm going to stop. 